Through time-lapse photography, the velocity of these clouds has been dramatically increased. While they were actually drifting over the mountains at approximately 27 miles per hour, they now have the appearance of moving at well over 100, four times their normal speed. If the clouds were stationary and the Earth was revolving underneath them, this is how it would appear if the Earth was spinning at 100 miles per hour. Yet we're told that the Earth is spinning at 10 times that speed. Consider this. Those who maintain that the Earth is a globe that spins suggest that people standing at the equator are being whirled around at approximately 1,000 miles an hour. They further maintain that the Earth is spinning around the Sun at a speed of 67,000 miles per hour, and that our Sun is supposedly racing around the center of our galaxy at some 600,000 miles per hour. And yet, you and I both know that on many days it's possible to stand outside without a single hair being messed up by the breeze. You put your hand outside a, a window of a, of a car, which is going even at 80 kilometers per hour, a terrific wind goes blasting by and pushes your hand back. Imagine putting your hand outside the window of a car that's going 1,600 kilometers per hour. We just take your so hand So now, out. to compare what we saw in the non-rotating tank to a, a case where there is rotation, we've set up a, tr a record player, as you see here, and we've got a comparable tank of water on it and we've let that tank of water spin up so that all the, the fluid is moving at the same rate as the record player. So all the fluid mechanics knows about the rotation of the table. And now we're going to do the exact same experiment where we pour in the creamer. And what you see is a different behavior. The fluid this time forms an axialized column. All the fluid motions are aligned with the rotation axis. The fluid isn't falling very fast through the layer, and now that column starts to break up into sub-columns. And uh, it eventually breaks apart into these different units, but all of them are each being held up, basically by the Coriolis acceleration.